I've just been going through some of the options on Lotus Traveler. Now I upgraded my server to 8.5.1 and I thought let me have a look around and see if I can see any changes. Now what I'm going to show you may have been available in earlier versions of Lotus Traveler. I'm not entirely sure. However, it is definitely available in 8.5.1 as per what I'm going to show you. So on the server there's a database called IBM Lotus Notes Traveler. Okay, and it will be in the root of the directory for your Domino Data directory on the server. And if I open it up, this is what I see. So I can see my name here. I can see the kind of phones or devices, as it may call them, that I'm using. So I've got Moto Q Norman, so I'm using Motorola phone in this case. And um, it's got a little bit of information. Allow access, wipe options, there's no wipe options or anything like that. Okay, now I'm playing around a bit with it. Um, now remember that I've shown some videos with using Domino console commands for the Lotus Traveler such as deleting a user, uh, resetting the data on their, on their phone and those kind of things. Now this gives me a couple of other options, not the same as, as what I'm used to there, but um, I can click on deny access. So if I click on that, it'll ask me if I want to, I click on yes, it says review, refresh the view to See the status changes, so I just refresh that. And there goes my Nokia at the moment. Kill that. Right, so here we see that it's got deny access. So now on my phone, when it goes to synchronize again, it won't be allowed access to any of the data on my server. So it can't synchronize anything. So it can't send mail, can't receive mail, or anything like that. So I can leave that as long as I wanted to. Okay, if I want I can clear that, so it's got clear, wipe, or allow access. So, I'll just go clear that, yes. And we'll refresh that to see the changes. And now it's allowed access again. So that's pretty straightforward. Now there's a few cases where you might want to use something like that. And um, you might even want to write an, an agent that could go through and do that to multiple phones perhaps if people wanted to be able to deny access after hours or something to that effect to their phone so that they are not being bugged with emails coming through. You could modify the form with a little bit of a timetable if you so wished. So anyway, I've got um, these settings in here. That's pretty straightforward. So now, I have another option here that says wipe device. I was playing around with this last night and I tell you what, use it with caution because my phone was rendered hopeless pretty much afterwards and it took me a little while to work out what was going on. I can wipe the device. So basically get it to reinstall its operating system. So I lose all the data on it, all my settings, the whole works. Now in my case, when I turn my phone on usually it comes up with a Motorola symbol and sits there for a few seconds and while well, it's loading the operating system. Now. When I clicked on wipe device, within seconds, my phone had come up with that Motorola logo on it and nothing else, and then seemed to shut itself down. I tried to start it, it would come up to that logo, and I couldn't get any anywhere past that logo. Um, it seems that something happened with my SD card that I had in it, um, because it can also wipe the USD card. And if I unplug my SD card, I was able to start my phone, and it would come up saying that it was installing the operating system. And from there on in, I was able to reinstall Traveler and get all my data back, all that kind of stuff. So wipe device is a great option if you're concerned about a phone that has been lost or stolen or whatever the case may be. But just use it with caution. I got my phone going again, which is great. Um, I know what it was that was stopping my phone from starting. It was to do with the SD card, but you just might want to watch what you're doing with your phones. If it's stolen, I think it's a wonderful idea. Anyway, that's how easy it is. By the way, if your phone is stolen, um, you, may, you may want to run this command here first before disabling the account on the phone. Um, unless somebody can put another SIM card into it, obviously they can always get, get, it, um, get to your server again. So you know, I'd run this anyway, but the quicker you run this, I'd run it before I actually called up the telephone company to say, to ask them to um, disable the account. 
So anyway, I hope this is of some help.